What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to simply just show you um, really just step by step what I do with a, a new video, like a new piece of content, a new video, a new um, YouTube video in this in this particular case. I'm going to show you kind of just just different splits of it of the actual same long form video, right? There's many different ways to split this and, and repurpose it. This is just one way. This is one stupid, simple way that I'm going to show you here. Um, when I post a new YouTube video and that YouTube video goes live, there's a few things that, that I do right away and I'm simply in the midst of it right now. So I thought I'd share it with you. Um, so number one is you simply want to for sure post it on any platform, right? Especially if you're building a, a, um, a global brand, a nationwide brand, right? Organic post for sure, not a big deal. Not, 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 not a super, you know, waste of time at all. As long as your as your brand can go can go global and you can attract a client from wherever, it's worth it. Now, if you're simply local, you're a local real estate agent, you're a local plumber, you're a local dentist, you want to stay local and you want to, and then that's when you simply want to focus on Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Instagram ads, LinkedIn ads, TikTok ads, whatever. Like you wanna, you wanna for sure narrow in and and that's through paid ads. But but no matter which, no matter which way you're going, is you simply want to, in this case, I go straight to YouTube. I'll put that video straight on YouTube. And then what I'll do is I'll come over here to Facebook to my personal page. And it's only it's only to my personal page because over here, this is 4.9 of, of people that are in my exact niche, that are in my exact audience, that are 100% my exact avatar. That's my personal, my personal friends on, on this page, right? So, so in this particular case, my personal Facebook friends, you guys, that's the power of this 5,000, whatever niche you're in, whatever business you're in, um, what I did, this is based on my personal experience, is I turned the 5,000 friends on Facebook into 5,000 prospects, into 5,000 of my exact avatars, people who I can bring value to. So if I post something, it's relevant to the person freaking viewing it, right? I'm not a local business owner where I'm a dentist and I only deal with people in my neighborhood, right? But I'm over here trying to post to everyone that lives across the country. No, it's not that. As long as those people are your exact client, then for sure, what I do is I simply take that video and I, and I, and I, and what I did over here and what I do do on these other platforms is I'll simply do a video on my phone, right? A simple selfie, simple, simple explanation, a little detailed intro of what that video consists of, what that actual YouTube video consists of, right? So here I just simply call out my, my niche, right? For those running Facebook and Instagram ads, here's a step-by-step -step video. And so that's, that's, that's the video is, is, is a step-by-step -step. and it's a YouTube video. It's a YouTube link. So sometimes it's good to take that full blown raw file, that raw video and upload it on each platform. I do do that too, but in this case, I'll do a simple selfie, um, giving some details, a teaser of that, of that raw footage on YouTube. And I'll have them go over there because in my case, I'm trying to build my YouTube channel, right? I'm trying to drive all traffic, all attention to that YouTube link to that YouTube channel. So I'll just leverage these other platforms to simply get people there. Right. So a little explanation, one minute, 51 seconds, it went on my personal page. And then it also went on my, um, on my business page. So as I come over here and as I go to my business page, I also took, I could have put it here and then shared it for sure. I could have did that as well. In this case, I simply gave it its own, its own identity. One is simply on my personal page and a completely second one, different one is on my, my business page. Now, again, I could have put it here and shared it to my personal. I could have for sure did that. Um, but in this case, I, I, I completely separated them just to see if there's any difference, right? Um, so here, this is straight on my business page, same video, taking them straight to my YouTube link. And then I also did the same thing, same text, same link, same video on my LinkedIn and then, and then as I shared it on Facebook, it 
automatically also shared because I, I toggle the little setting button on it automatically shared it on my Instagram. So that's what I'm gonna start doing over here, which I've yet to do because really my Instagram were really just a couple hundred friends that I have. Right. But now, now I'm going to turn this, this Instagram to, to more, you know, business and, and just focused on my niche. And so, yeah, that same video, same text went over here to Instagram. Now, the last thing that I do, and again, there's many ways you can skin this cat. I could have broke down this video or I could have broke down the actual real, real video on YouTube, broke that down to fit every social media platform and repurpose it that way. Right. But this is just simple, something simple that I'm showing you today that I do to get it out the gate, right? The moment that video goes live on YouTube, boom, it goes on those platforms and then it goes over here to a specific email list or maybe multiple list. That's why when it comes to software, and it comes to building a business online and capturing leads, making sales, getting appointments through through cold traffic, through people on social media, right? Um, when it comes to that, software is the most important. The 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 post, the content, that 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 that, that that's the front end. But the back end is where you monetize. The back end is where you bring value and you continue to nurture an audience. It's the back end. And so to get people there, it normally comes down to a simple page, right? So either I'm promoting organically or I'm running ads. But in this case with a real estate agent, let's say, for example, I'm running someone, I'm, 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 I'm running an ad on a listing. People are clicking. They're coming straight to this one page where I'm capturing the lead, right? So as, as I go out and put out organic content, as I go out there and put out, put out more Facebook ads, right? Instagram ads, LinkedIn ads, whatever, I'm driving them to this one page software. So the software that I use to build these different pages is Kartra. I've been, I've been building different funnels and different pages. Hey, hey, beautiful. I've been, I've been building different funnels on there since 2018. Right. And so the reason why I use a huge, huge reason why I use Kartra is because mainly the, the, the three main services that typically most of us need, which are landing pages, these basic web pages to capture a lead, right? To capture that lead. It could be a listing funnel. It could be an open house funnel. Or if you guys are seeing this on YouTube, you guys could be, you guys could be offering anything upfront of value. In this case, it's a free PDF. That's all we're doing. So in my coaching um, sessions, I teach real estate agents how to run ads for listings, how to run ads ads to capture sellers, right? How to, how to target their local area, um, really build a local brand through Facebook ads, through Instagram ads, and capture seller leads. Have homeowners simply raise their hand and say, hey, I'd love a copy of that. And in this case, it's giving away a simple PDF, you know, a five-page PDF, giving, giving a homeowner, you know, tips on what it takes to sell. Or maybe you're giving a homeowner mistakes to avoid before hiring a real estate agent, or maybe mistakes to avoid before selling your property, right? Whatever you could put down in PDF form in writing on, on, on a few pages is super powerful and, and, and super effective. You can start putting out content, running ads, getting people to click download, right? Download your free PDF. And that's where, that's where appointments end up coming. So not only did boom, did I just capture the lead, but I also bring them over to this next page where I now have the opportunity get that, to get that person to schedule a call, simple marketing, you guys, simple funnels, simple lead pages. But what I'm saying is as people come into your world, you want to start building an email list. So that's what I see typically most real estate agents or even small business owners in general miss is a proper landing page software, right? So that's Karcher. That's what I use Karcher for, the landing page software. And then once we capture that lead, there must be email automation in place to nurture that lead, right? You're not going to be emailing them every day from your Gmail. You're not going to be freaking texting them every damn day, bugging them, right? No, you're going to have, you're going to have professional, proper call to action, optimized email, automated emails, put in place that are set to trigger and go out and drip every couple of days, right? That's how you, that's the back end. That's what I'm trying to bring up earlier. That's the back end. So you have landing pages, you have email automation. And, and in this case, what I help help agents do is, is put together a simple calendar. So what just happened in this case, I'm giving away a seller guide, right? I'm running ads. I'm giving away a free seller guide tips to increase the value of your home, right? Bringing value via free, via a free download. And then boom, when they get here in this video, I'm also going for the appointment. So the third software, the, the third most important tool that most need is an online calendar. So we have landing pages, we have email automation, and we have an online calendar. Those are basically the three tools that, that are 
that are that are required to make all this happen. And 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 the reason why I I, I love ads, you know, when it comes to that is the is the automation, you guys. Imagine being able to have a machine, a well-oiled machine running 24-7 without you. You set it up once and the damn thing runs, right? Facebook newsfeed, Instagram newsfeed, or you're running LinkedIn ads or TikTok ads, whatever. It's paid traffic. It's all the same. People are on social media. People are on their damn phones all freaking day. How do I get in front of them? Right. That's what we're talking. And, and these are the basic the basic tools that, that are needed. Um, and then once you have that content out, you want to share it. That's what we're going over is sharing it. I'm sharing it on my social media platforms. I'm now walking you through over here, this software where I share it via email automation. Now, this part isn't automated because I'm, I'm physically sending out a broadcast. So when it comes to email automation, you have the ones that are dripping, the ones that are programmed to go out every other day. Right. Every other day, that back end, that email automation is, is nurturing that lead, getting people to do what we're trying to get them to do, schedule an appointment, freaking buy a product, whatever, right? That back end email automation is so important. That's Kartra and then the calendar. So if you guys are new to this stuff, there's a 14-day trial. There's a link in the description, profitwithkartra.online. That will give you a 14-day trial to play around with this, compare it to whatever software you may be trying to work with and, and really jump into our world. And, and once you do activate a 14-day trial, I send you all my funnels for free. So if you're in real estate, for example, I have a listing funnel, an open house funnel, a, a, a seller guide funnel. So, so, or even if you're not in real estate, jump on a 14 day trial and I'll help you freaking no matter what business you're in, put the damn thing together. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty basic and so, so powerful. So again, you guys, last piece of me sharing this video. Um, and, and again, if you notice, obviously the video is coming from YouTube. A side note, if you guys haven't started your YouTube channel, if you haven't started putting out content on YouTube and really trying to trying to trying to maximize that and, and eventually monetize that, you're missing out on a huge opportunity to 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 cat to capture that piece of your market. You got to be putting out YouTube content. And and even if you're not that video type of person. Now, a lot of people that are probably getting this are small business owners. So hopefully you guys can you get out of your shell and start putting out freaking video, right? But but for those that are building maybe something national or global, or you're building some type of e-commerce and, and you don't need to be the face of the brand, for sure. If you're that type of business, then shit, start putting out YouTube videos, start freaking hiring people to produce them for you, start your own channel, delegate the job of the script writing, delegate the job of the editing, um, and target your niche and talk about your product or service, but in a very general way and educate people and get thousands of people subscribed to that channel, YouTube, 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 YouTube. You want to be forming your, putting your content on YouTube and, 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 and forming a whole following over there. And so shout out to every single one of you guys, man. So if you're new to the channel, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego, been building an agency um, since 2017, but then branched out to digital products, affiliate marketing. I do a lot of it with Karcher and ClickFunnels um, when it comes to affiliate marketing and really keeping it simple, focused on landing pages. That's what this is about, man. Landing pages, email automation, online calendar, and being able to share your message via the social media platforms. Yes, for sure. But then also how I do it in here through an actual broadcast. Okay. So you, again, you have your email automation and then within that feature, email broadcast. An email broadcast is a one-off email. So in this case, what I'm doing for you guys here is just showing you my one-offs. Post it on social media, share that video. It went on YouTube first shared in this case through a broadcast. And that's what I'm doing here with you guys now. So this is how we do it. So in my communications to the left, and again, this is all through Kartra. So profitwithkartra.online, that link is, is in the description. Activate a 14-day trial and you'll get an email with my calendar um, from me. Okay, so, so activate that 14 trial link in the description. So here's what I do. My communications, I'll come over here to communications at the top and I'll hit broadcast. Again, this is a one-off email. I just dropped this video, you know, this morning. I want to get as much traffic to it fast within the first couple hours. This is what I'm doing, you guys. Post it over there on them, on them platforms. And then, and then if you're building an email list, which you should be, that was why I took you on the whole tantrum of showing you the funnel and the pages and all that crap, because that's how you capture leads. You got to have something in place to capture these leads. So again, if you're a real estate agent, um, it doesn't get any easier for you guys, man. Start capturing seller leads, start capturing buyer leads. And how are you going to do it? By putting out content, sharing um, a free download, a free PDF, getting people to raise their hand and get a copy of it. That's how you capture leads. And, and again, when you're doing it 
through advertising, you're targeting a local area. These are people that live down the street. Powerful. So, so here's how we do it through, through, through my communications up here, I go broadcast and then I hit this green one broadcast and I can just give it a name. So this one's going to be, um, FB conversion. All right. I'll just put, I'll just put YouTube, YouTube video. Yeah. I'll just put YouTube video. That's fine. Okay. And then category, it's going to go in the client one and then I'll hit this green button create. Okay, this is just simple YouTube video. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go send by mail. Send by mail. And then it's going to come from that name. It's going to come from that email. I'm going save, and then I'm going save and next, and then the recipients. So this is what I really love about Karcher, man. I can really break it down. I can segment my list. That's why people that are coming to your world are, 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 are normally coming in through different funnels. If you're a real estate agent, I have a funnel for my listings. I have a funnel for my open houses. I have a funnel for my seller guide. I have a funnel for my buyer guide. I know what, 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 what channel people are coming in through, right? What funnel people are coming in through. That's so important. So, so now as I, as I capture that lead, I can then go into my email automation. And in this case, I can either set up a, a sequence again, which is the trip, the automated emails for sure. That's what this is all about. I can do that. And in this case, what I'm doing here is showing you how I just throw off the one-offs, how the one-offs just go out. Like I just, again, felt like sharing the video, felt like emailing it. That's called a broadcast. Okay. So boom, right here, click that. And, and, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break it down. People who are subscribed to the list. So people who are subscribed to, to any specific list, right, will get this email. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it to um, um, those ones so I can add. And then I can, I can also put and or. They're either subscribed to that one or they're subscribed to another list, which could be, um, I think it's really just that one, or they could be subscribed to, and again, I could, I could send it to everybody, but no, I'm, I'm again, segmenting and, and, and making it super clear. And it's actually just that one. So it's just, it's just that one. It's just that one. That's that, that, that's going out. Okay, perfect. So now, now I'm going to come over here, 92 people on that very super narrow specific list, right? So there, hit single email. And this is where now I can create my email. So I can go basic text, which this is just, you know, basic text, or I can go into advanced and this right here, toggle this little, little bad boy on hit design templates. And then now I can either pull any of my saved templates, which I do have. I just have a basic template that I use over and over and over. And, and it's just basic text with an image at the bottom. I'll change out that image for every new email. And then, and then my social media icons are already down here saved, right? So super basic, super, super clean, simple, simple template. But also I can go into, into Kartra's full templates and I can look at all of these beautiful designed, already designed templates. And I can simply click and drag and use anything of this template. I can delete number one and two and only use three. I can change the purple to freaking green. Like I can do whatever I can. I can take away this button, right? This, this green button. I can delete that, right? I can leave the social media icons at the bottom. I can do whatever to the template and then save it. And then eventually use that one over and over and over. So this is super powerful. You guys, this is the back end, man. This is what, this, this is what I hear. I, I talk to people, small business owners, real estate agents, every, every darn day on this topic, social media marketing capture leads on, on, on social media. You can, you can, you can get people to comment on your post. You can even maybe, maybe get people to DM you, but to be able to capture the lead, to be able to, to be able to put that lead into some type of CRM and, and, and have automated emails that are set to go out to nurture that lead, build a relationship, get them to schedule an appointment or buy your product. That's what's powerful. And that's what you're missing on social media, especially for those of you that don't even put out content, the, the, that those of you that are actually inconsistent with content and I'm guilty of it. Organic, I don't really put out a lot of organic. I'm going to start, but really it's all YouTube, right? I'll either run ads or put this long form video on YouTube. But now what I'm going to do is start breaking it down, right? Start sharing it on other platforms, start, start breaking it down, editing it and repurposing it on different platforms, right? So for sure, 
again, this is a form of it, send out a broadcast of that email. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put together, so I'm using my, temp, my template already, right? I'm using my template already. Now, let me just write out this email and I'll show you how I send it out. Okay, basic text, you guys, basic text. Um, using the dynamic variable, calling them out by their first name is what I do a lot. Right here, you'll see top left dynamic variable. So I could take any of these dynamic variables, place that into the body of the text, and that will that will pull, you know, whatever that that lead, whatever that information is, right? So in this case, it's it's dynamic variable for first name. I'll always try to put out their first name, and I'll even do it at the top. I'll put um, I'll put it in the subject line. I'll put Jack. Here's how to run a Facebook ad in 2022. Okay, so here's how to run a Facebook ad in 2022. Hi, Jack. I'm super excited I reached you. Hope you're well. Here's a video. And what I do is I'll hyperlink. Here's a video, right? So I'll, I'll turn it to bold. And then I'll go, I don't know why I changed the font, but I'm going to go back. So I'll put it in bold. And then, and then I'll change the color on something that I'm linking. I'll change it to that on a word, I should say, that I'm linking. I'll bold it. I'll change the color to that blue. And then I'll hyperlink it. Now, Again, this is all about taking this video, sharing it on social media, and also sending a broadcast email and send it to my list, right? So what I do in that case is I'll go to my channel. I'll go to my channel. In fact, let me, let me do it from the beginning because this is, this is super powerful too. I just learned this and I truly believe it, it, it'll make a difference um, on just the way the video is viewed and the, 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 the potential of having more watch time you know carry with it so if i go to my channel so look go to my channel go to playlist so if i just go to if i go to playlist rather than going to videos and getting that one video right because that's the video i want to i want to link in the email that's the video i shared right that's the video that i want to get people on it was released three hours ago it's this one with 23 views right rather than getting the link from here rather than clicking on it and, and sharing the link from here what you want to do is you want to share the link from the playlist. Now, this is some ninja stuff that I just, just learned, and I'm literally just implementing it right now with you for the very first time, like literally. So we'll see. I don't know. Come back in 12 months. I don't know. Let's see if I'm freaking breaking it on breaking the records over here. Like, let, let's see. Like, so again, in this case, playlist. So I want to go to the playlist. I want to view the full playlist, right? I want to view the full playlist and I want to share it from here. So if I simply click on the, the one up here at the top, play all, that's the one I want to share, right? So, so what I'm doing is as I, as I opened up, as I opened up that link, then it ends up being a link from the playlist. And when that person clicks, they'll see all my videos over here to the right. In fact, let's see, let's do this over again. Actually, no, those were all my videos. Yeah, those are all my videos. Let me, I don't know why this is here. Um, remove, actually, because it's part of my likes. Actually, these are likes. I'm so, I'm tripping you guys, my bad. I mean, the likes. Okay, so it's this one right here. So view, I was wondering why those other freaking videos were there. Okay, cool. So it's right here. So what I want to do is this one right here. This is my playlist, right? This is my playlist. This is the video I want to share. So what I want to do, what I want to do is I want to click on it. And as I click on it, I'm going to share this link. This is the link that has all my other videos in that playlist show up to the right. This right here. So now all that person has to do is freaking press play. And if they let it play, it ends up playing to all these other ones in the playlist as well. So if they're interested in this one topic, it's a playlist. There's so many other videos related to that topic in the playlist. That way, with this link shared this way through the playlist, you have you have a much higher you know probability of that person watching more of your stuff, okay? Which is super powerful. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to double click, copy the entire link at the top, okay? Then I'm going to bring it over here, and I'm going to paste it in to that word. Here's a video. Bam. I just put up on YouTube walking my friend Skylar through the setup of a Facebook ad. Skylar is a top producing, blah, blah, blah. Watch here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply, I'm not going to bold it, but I'm going to change the color to blue. And then I'm going to simply hyperlink it. So I'll hit the little link, paste in that playlist YouTube video link, 
and there it goes there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bold this bottom one and let's change this color to blue as well. And let's hyperlink, let's hyperlink that. Okay, so that one's, that one's, that one's bolded out. Let's hyperlink this one. And then what I do, the last part, this is the broadcast, right? So I'll just simply change out this image. I'll change out the image to the one of the thumbnail, which I hope I have it saved still. Um, damn it, do I still have it saved? Awesome. There's the thumbnail one, right? There's the thumbnail one. And then what I also do, last but not least, I'll link it right here. So if they click on the image, which most people do, they'll click on the image, right? Um, and it'll take them straight to that video. So boom, there's that, you guys. There is that. That's how I share it. So um, here we're going to go. Here's how you run a Facebook ad in 2022. Or actually, I'll put, I'll put, Let's let's get more narrow with it. Um, let's go um, the subject line. Um, how to? I'll just take away their first name. Not yeah. Let's um. Here's I'll just put I'll put their first name. Here's how to capture listing or seller leads with Facebook ads, with Facebook ads. Okay, so let's put their dynamic variable down here. Let's copy that. I'm gonna put it here, here in the subject line. Okay, so bam, Jack, here's how to capture seller leads with Facebook ads, boom. Okay, so there's the image, there's the text, save and next. And that's it, you guys. So now over here, I'm going to hit save and next. No, not, no automation is needed. I can send now. I can ske schedule later. I can save the draft. I'm going to send it now. And that's it. And then boom, because I like one, one another reason why I love Kartra is because I can, so hit yes, boom, that went out to those 92 very specific people on this specific, on this very specific list, right? Now, what I can do real quick, why I love Kartra, another reason why is because I can go into the analytics. So right here, my communications to the left, I can go to analytics, I can go to broadcast and I can track all this stuff in real time. That's what that's what Kartra allows you to do is track it all in real time. So that's broadcast. I can go last 30 days or I can go today. The ones, the 92 that went out today, this will show me in real time how many opened it, right? It'll, it'll show me down here who opened it, right? I can click, it'll tell me who opened it, right? It could even show me if someone sent me to spam or unsubscribed, right? I, and this is all real time. Watch, look. It's zero. Let's see if anybody, let's do it again. Let's refresh the page. Let's go not last 30. Let's go today. Look at that. Two already opened. Bam. Shows me right there. Two already opened. Two already opened. And it'll even show me if they clicked, if they click the link or if they click the image, it'll show me right there under clicks, right? So two opened, I can click on that and boom, it'll show me who, who the two are. And, and that's another reason why I love Kartra, man, is because of the analytics. You could track in real time and, and to marketers. That stuff is so important. So you guys, that's how I share my YouTube video. That's how I send it on YouTube or send it on different platforms. And that's how I send it via email broadcast, um, which, which gives that video exposure sooner than later. And I do it all through all through Kartra. So if you guys are new to this online game, man, there's a, there's a fortune day trial profit with Kartra.online. Um, that's in the description. I'll see you guys on the next video over and out.